we are very excited that you are teaching uh, this course, and I just wanted to ask you uh, what this covers every day of the week when, when they're studying spelling. Okay, we have 32 lists, and each list has 20 words, and then they can add two more words. So then the first day we look at those lists, the, the words, we look at the patterns for them, and so that's a very important day. Day one, we would say, is very, very important. So they look at the patterns, and we take it apart. We also take a pretest to see what they know, but also we use the words in our pretest as a jumping-off point to talk about the patterns. Mm -hmm. Then day two, we review the main principles that we did in day one. We review that, and then we work on a word meaning, and it's usually always a game. Sometimes it's called barbecue. Our whole theme, and that, that's our refrigerator. refrigerator. We like that, our refrigerator. Our whole theme is culinary. It seemed to have a lot of words, culinary words in there. So day two, our word meaning will be a culinary type of game or something like that because I want the kids to know how to put their words into a sentence and use them, not just memorize how to spell. Day three, we take a uh, practice test, the whole test, and a mm -hmm. dictation sentence. So they can work through, and when we're done, we actually grade it on camera. camera. So I give them the words, and they check their own work. I think it's important for them to hear the right. words spelled. So they're, they've written it, they've studied it, and then I've given it to them to spell. They're hearing that audi audibly. Then they check their work. Then they know what to work on again in case there's a problem. We also proofread on day three, and the proofreading is a good time for us to talk about doing it for God's glory, mm -hmm. doing our very best, um, doing it for other people. If we're careless and they can't read our writing, they could misunderstood even something like taking the wrong medicine if we haven't written out the, the medicine correctly or given instructions well. They will they could err. So when we care about others, we want to care and do our very best. So that's our day three. Day four is another review, and again, it's a game. And then we do um, three of the four weeks, we do a dictionary skill where we learn how to find words in the dictionary, how they're sorted, how to maybe learn some rules, dictionary rules, so we don't have to look up every word in the mm -hmm. dictionary because, again, there's lots of good patterns for spelling. And then we have a writing activity every fourth week, and we have some special friends that we will introduce that. Daniel and Sophia are some character friends that come, and they introduce our writing. Because writing is important, and it needs to be very realistic. So our activities that we write are things that the children might write in their, mm -hmm. in their day by day. Day five is our final test. And then after our final test, we have Kids Canteen. Team. And what I've done is we have clues all throughout the five days. We have these different clues, mm -hmm. and they may appear on the refrigerator or in our script or anywhere. They can appear. And the kids take those clues and try to think about it all week. What word is she going to choose? What's our special word this week? So then day five, after our final test, they don't have to, but I hope they will, we take that word, like one of the words is peanuts, and so we talk about the history of peanuts. Where did mm -hmm. we get peanuts? What are peanuts used for? I wear my little hat. That's why I brought that here. I wear that, and I have an apron. We pretend that we have a kitchen. We might have a recipe that the kids can do. The this grade level, we mm -hmm. try to stay away from you know a big fire or oven or something, but things that they can do in a slow cook cooker or a toaster oven or just without cooking at all, um, those type of things. So that's our day five. Very there. good. Wow. So uh, there, there's a lot to learn in spelling, there isn't is. there? That yeah. is. That is amazing. Can you talk a little bit? I know you, you, you mentioned like with these word lists on day one, the third graders are going to begin to see that there's a pattern. Can mm -hmm. you talk a little bit more about the approach you take to teaching spelling. Yes, um, rather than my just telling them this does this and why before E or accept all that, what we do is we look at the words and then we say what is the difference between this word and this word? Why does this, why, why this has a Y, why do we add an S to this one but we add ES to that one? And so then we kind of analyze and again we look at the words first and come up with the patterns rather than my just telling them something. And so I think that is a very good plan to keep it in their minds. Mm -hmm. So we, we look at it that way. Even with our review games, the barbecue or the your toast or whatever, 
they do a lot of thinking before the answer sure. appears. So they That's, can. That is fantastic. I know that uh, the way I thought about spelling as a child was there's this big long list and I've got to mm -hmm. cram it into my head so I can pour it out on a test. Uh, but it sounds like you really help them understand why the words are spelled the way they are. Yes, and then we'd use that as a jumping off point. Sometimes I bring in a new word that's not on our list, but I say it to them and see if they can figure out following this pattern and this, they should be able to spell it on their own. So wow. I try to stretch their mind for, yeah. for things like that. That is fantastic. I bet, I bet third graders, if they get that right, they're going to just really have a sense of mastery and uh, satisfaction. That is great. Well, uh, could you talk about any kind of special treats you have for students uh, throughout the course? Well, the main two are Daniel and Sophia introducing mm -hmm. the writing segment. Uh, again, it's a nice, it's a relaxing music that plays and it tells a little story and it kind of follows the story throughout the whole course. And then our day five, the kids canteen is just, that's a special treat. If they guess the clue, that's a treat, but then just learning what we're learning. And, and mm -hmm. they don't they don't even have to be great spellers. They can learn to cook whether they spell well or not. It's That's just right. a fun time, fun to learn about these culinary words. And that is that is very important for uh, students to know, begin to learn, especially mm -hmm. at that age, about even cooking. So yeah. that, they'll have fun with that. Yeah. I, I know that uh, my, my, my daughter's in third grade right now, so she won't be able to enjoy this, but she loves the kitchen. Good. And I think that she would really enjoy this course. And I know that she would be hanging out all the way to Kids Canteen. Mm -hmm. So I hope that if you have a third grader, uh, you will uh, take a look at this course. And this, this is a new announcement for this year. Uh, we are reducing the price for all of our spelling and handwriting courses. Last year they were $2.99 each, and this year they are $1.49 each. So uh, if you're looking at Mrs. Gerald's spelling course, you can know that this year uh, it's going to be a little lower price point for you. So thank you so Very much good. for taking your time to be you're with welcome. us. Sounds like a lot of fun that they're going to be having in spelling. Thank Alrighty. you so much.